Pretty symbolic that Moore and Burke are the ones that kind of set the tone today after how last night ended. Yeah, I think so because I think it requires leadership to come back from you know, a loss that's got a lot of emotion to it. Um, it's a grudge match back and forth. And then, um, you know, kudos to the opponent. They certainly did what they had to do to win the game, but uh, we made some mistakes that contributed to the whole deal. So when you wrap that all into one package, what you need is a little bit of leadership and, and guys to calm the storm in the dugout for you. But eventually you got to play ball too, and guys got to do things. And those two guys do about as much as anybody on a day-to-day -day basis or or definitely on the season of, uh, for the whole. How big was it just in general that first inning to take this crowd out of it a little bit and get going? Yeah, I mean, they're involved. I think our guys like playing in this park when there's fans uh, in it uh, as opposed to, you know, last time maybe it was because of the weather. Uh, we've been here a couple times now. It's a big park, um, so you don't want it hollow. And fortunately, we've got a, a lot of fans of our own that usually travel with us. And, and so I, I think more for our guys, it was about relieving a little bit of sense of pressure of, um, you know, we didn't play our best. You're down 0-1. You obviously want to win a series that's been talked about a little bit. Um, so all in all, it was it was big, but uh, no more than, than any other game, I think, that you'd want to come out and, and take a lead. It feels like Aaron Combs kind of unlocks up the last couple of weekends. What did you see from him? Yeah, we, we talked about that. I, I think just pitching more and um, – you know, I think staying true to his identity, uh, maybe trying to go outside of himself a little bit early in the year. But also, we I, I've kind of harped on this theme of getting guys, and I always use getting a rhythm, but basically you'd like your guy to be 90% to 100% healthy, and you'd like him to have a couple reps out on the mound, and you'd also like him before he gets on the mound, you know, to, to have a sequence of throwing and things like that. And just January and February wasn't built up for him the way that you would normally like. So he had to get his feet under him a little bit. And, and it's, it's you know, been nice to see him out there pitching the way that he is. What do you like about the way he's able to get out of those jams? I think the composure. At times last year, he would get a little too fired up. And now I think he's found a good balance of he pitches with intensity. I mean, if you ever listen to music he listens to, it's about as intense as it gets. Um, so that's always going to be there. But there does have to be a little bit of a balance. And in order to have the type of control that he had today, he, you have to be under control. And he certainly was at. I think you mentioned last week you all wanted to use him in a specific role, and that just didn't really come up early in the season. Kind of what did you all envision using him, and how have you all tinkered that? Well, I think to get us out of big jams. And, and that certainly occur, occurred today. I mean, one moment you think Beam is, is rolling, and then the next moment they remind you that they, they've got a capable club. And, and so we go to him in a really big spot, and he handled it. So a big jam in, in college baseball, it could happen, I guess, earlier in the fifth. I think that one happened in the fifth. Very few of us have a closer that's just a Mariano Vera ninth inning. Um, so that's what we saw him as. But again, we had to get him uh, healthy out there, and then that situation just wasn't coming up because we were either down or we were scoring, you know, in, in pretty good numbers to where we weren't in those tight games. And it, it's easier to say now because we won today. Uh, but last night, we were very fortunate to be in that game the way we, that we were, be involved in that game. Because you're going to be in those tight games, five to three, three to two, six to four, um, where every pitch seems to kind of have a lot of weight to it. And you have to experience it and get some reps, I think, in order to be the best version of yourselves. And we just didn't have that earlier in the year for Combs. And now the next time it comes up, there's a good chance he's the guy in that situation. What did you see from Dryland and KT today? Uh, Dryland was much more under control. I, I mentioned that phrase for Combsy or anyone that's pitching. But again, in order to be control of your performance, you got to be under control. And he just was, was kind of running at the thing last night and never really got his swing off at any point. And today, not only did he get his swing off a couple times, but in situations where he just had to battle, you, you kind of saw some calm there. And, and really was just using his hands. And, um, you know, he was talked about in high school and talked about now by scouts as a pro prospect because he's, he's really got a unique set of, you know, hitting hands that he's got uh, as, as far as attributes go. So he used that. And then KT, I think, was just determined as all heck to get back to being himself. And uh, sometimes you just kind of say enough is enough. And I've seen that out of a couple guys, too, that are anxious to get out on that field and, and be a better version of themselves when they get another opportunity. Because we got talented guys that maybe aren't out there or haven't been out there yet this weekend against Kentucky. Um, but again, as a competitor, sometimes you just simplify and say, you know what, I'm putting an end to this. And he hadn't really been his best the last couple weeks, but uh, you saw what he is today. Being retired as many as eight in a row at one point, Tom. What did you see from him and then there at the end? 
Yeah, I mean, towards the end, I, I really think they were just kind of doing what they had to do, put, putting the bat on the ball on, on uh, pitches, not trying to do too much against them. Um, early on, you know, they come out of the gates with Walshmitt, and, um, you, you know, it looked like, you know, Beam might face the same consequences um, as we had in the first inning on our behalf. But he just righted the ship and calmed the storm. I don't think he was doing anything crazy other than locating really well when he kind of pieced those together. Um, the outs in a row that you're talking about. So it was an interesting outing for him. It was kind of built with some ups and downs for a guy we talk about that's consistent all the time. Thanks, Tony. Yeah.